Alternative Investment Fund. Not all companies are listed. Then how do unlisted companies raise capital? And how do people invest in startups? One way is alternative investment funds. Change alone is constant. The financial markets, which are constantly releasing new alerts, will serve as a prime illustration. The Alternatives Investment Fund is an additional add-on that provides a road plan for improved returns. So what is it? Who wouldn't desire something new? The Alternative Investment Funds provide investors with a new way to invest their hard-earned money. This allows you to avoid the traditional approach of investing money. Let's take a much bigger perspective. What are alternative investment funds? AAFs are investment vehicles that differ from traditional investments like stocks and bonds. They encompass a wide range of assets, including private equity, hedge funds, real estate, commodities, and more. These funds often offer higher potential returns but also come with increased risks and complexity. An AIF is established by a company, LLP, Limited Liability Partnership, Corporate Body, or Trust. These investments, however, are not covered under the purview of SEBI. But they are governed by Regulation 2, 1, B, of the Regulation Act of 2012. Types of Alternative Investment Funds SEBI has categorized the AIFs into three categories. They are as follows. Category IAIF. Here the funds are invested into those businesses which are new and hold high growth potential. They are viewed as economically and socially viable. Even the government promotes and incentivizes these as they lay the road for the country's development as a whole. Venture Capital Funds Venture capital funds provide financing to early stage, high growth companies in exchange for equity ownership. They focus on sectors such as technology, healthcare, and biotech, aiming to support innovation and entrepreneurship. Infrastructure Funds Infrastructure funds invest in essential infrastructure assets such as transportation, energy, utilities, and telecommunications. These funds often focus on stable, long-term assets with predictable cash flows. Angel funds, angel investors invest in a startup in its earliest stage and guide the management of the same in the right path. SME funds, these are investments into micro, small and medium enterprises. These funds are said to deliver returns even higher than 8%. Social venture capital funds, these are funds that invest in a business that strives to bring a positive change in society. The fund will be investing a minimum of 75% of the assets in such business. Category 2 AIF Those funds which do not take leverage or borrowings other than to meet day-to-day -day operational expenses fall under this category. Private Equity Funds Private equity funds invest in privately held companies with the goal of enhancing their value over time, and eventually selling them for a profit. They may target startups, distressed companies, or firms undergoing restructuring. Private debt funds Private debt funds provide debt financing to companies that may not have access to traditional bank loans or capital markets. They may offer senior debt, mezzanine financing, or distressed debt solutions, aiming for income generation and capital preservation. Fund of Funds Fund of Funds invest in multiple underlying hedge funds or alternative investment strategies. They offer diversification benefits, and may provide access to specialized managers or strategies that individual investors might not access directly. Real Estate Funds Real estate funds invest in various types of properties, including residential, commercial, industrial, and hospitality assets. They may pursue strategies such as property development, income generation, or opportunistic investments. Distressed Debt Funds Distressed debt funds purchase debt securities of financially troubled companies, often at a significant discount, with the aim of restructuring or selling them for a profit. They may target distressed bonds, loans, or distressed assets. Category 3 AIF These are funds that offer short-term investment vehicles for investors. The following funds fall under the same. Hedge funds Hedge funds employ a variety of investment strategies, including long, short equity, global macro, event-driven, and quantitative trading. 
they often aim to generate absolute returns regardless of market conditions and typically have performance fees. Private investment in public equity funds as the procedures for issuing a pipe is less than that of other conventional methods, most companies use this to raise funds. Here the investors get the shares of companies that are publicly traded at a discounted price. Criteria to invest in an AIF Having gained a better understanding of what an AIF is, you must be wondering as to what makes you an eligible investor. Don't worry, we have got that covered as well. You may be an NRI or PIO or OCI, you are still eligible for investment in these types of funds. The minimum investment which an individual can undertake is fixed as 1 rupee crore. However, in the case of angel investors, the lower limit has been fixed at 25 rupees larks. If you are an employee, fund manager, or director of AIF, then the minimum limit is again 25 rupees larks. The number of investors per fund is also restricted. The count is generally 1,000, and in the case of angel funds, it is 49. These funds have a minimum lock-in period of three years. The Category 1 and 2 funds are close-ended, while Category 3 can either be close or open-ended. Should you invest in AIFs? Well, it depends. AIFs can be suitable for certain investors, such as high-net-worth individuals or institutions seeking portfolio diversification and potentially higher returns. However, they may not be suitable for everyone due to their complex nature and higher risk profile. If you're considering investing in AIFs, conduct thorough due diligence. Understand the fund's investment strategy, track record, fees, and liquidity terms. Additionally, consult with a qualified financial advisor who can provide personalized guidance based on your unique financial situation. In conclusion, alternative investment funds can be a valuable addition to your investment toolkit, but they're not without risks. By carefully assessing your objectives and conducting due diligence, you can make informed decisions that align with your financial goals. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, investing wisely is key to building a secure financial future. Until next time, happy investing!